Hello everyone, welcome to my guest bedroom closet, my office where I've been recording human for the past two years. A very in-depth, step-by-step tutorial course about creating realistic portraits from scratch with Blender only. Achieving believable human faces has been a passion of mine since I started working with computer graphics 17 years ago. Wow, has it really been that long? <laughs> it's a pursuit that landed me my first job which developed into very rewarding face-oriented industry work, numerous personal projects, and was even the subject of my very first tutorial course for CG Cookie, which frankly, I can't watch anymore without cringing. The crease brush is of course great for creases. Um, so Human is essentially a massive overhaul of that first course. With a runtime of over 25 hours, every step of the process is covered in detail. Beginning with a Loomis style sculpting formula, my goal is to make it as easy as possible to get started on the right foot. From there, we will focus on refining each facial feature individually till we have a fully formed human head. Additionally, we will focus on various facial contexts like age, weight, gender, and ethnicity. Chapter two revolves around converting our heavy, inefficient sculpture into a workable model. This involves retopologizing our head sculpt for a clean wireframe, transferring all sculpted detail over to our new model, sculpting high frequency pore level details, along with modeling extra objects like clothing and accessories. Chapter three covers texturing and material creation. Human skin is one of the most difficult materials to get right, so it needs a lot of attention. We will walk through my process for building up layers of hand painted color, baked geometric data, and procedural textures. We'll take our time with the eyes given their crucial role in portrait believability, and we certainly won't neglect our other materials. Chapter four focuses on hair, which is a common pitfall for CG portraits. Again, we will take our time beginning with the vellus hair for maximum fidelity, then add some facial hair because, well, I think it's fun, but also a good primer for scalp hair, which tends to be the trickiest kind of hair to get right. We will explore a short hairstyle here to ensure that we focus on the fundamental aspects of hair grooming. Chapter five wraps the course with lighting and rendering. After pouring hours into our portrait asset, it's only reasonable to present it in the best possible light. First, we'll get started with a basic three point light setup and add photographic post-processing effects. Then we will study six common studio light setups for portraits and conclude the chapter with scene-based lighting to give our portrait interesting context. As you can imagine, portraiture is a very advanced topic. Even though the entire course is step-by-step -step, and I did design it with all skill levels in mind, it's still ideal if you have at least an intermediate level of Blender experience to follow along effectively. But if you don't have that experience, we've got you covered. CG Cookie members will be able to watch all prerequisite courses to prepare themselves for human. If you're not a member and not interested in subscribing, there will be a bundle option on the Blender market that includes all the same fundamental courses. Human will become part of the CG Cookie course library available to all active members beginning on November 23rd and for sale on the Blender market as a standalone course that same day. If you're planning to purchase from the Blender Market, starting today we're offering a pre-order opportunity at a discounted price. Please see the description below for a link to the product page. I'm absolutely thrilled that you're watching this video, that you're interested in human. Again, it's been my sole passion for two years. I can't wait to share it with you, and I especially can't wait to see what you do with it.